Hi, lovely people. How are you? Don't mind the way I look. I'm going to explain what is going on and where I've been. I'm in the car, and this was a spur of the moment, so I don't have one of them um, selfie sticks or anything or tripods to hold the phone. So I have it. I'm holding it with my hand. So if it's a little shaky, I do apologize. But on my community tab, um, I did say what would happen. Um, Wednesday, this past Wednesday, I believe it was the 5th or the 6th, uh, my mother's house was caught on fire and they lost everything. Um, I look like this because I just came back from my mom's house to see if there was any packages, any mail, anything else what I can do. And there's just nothing I can do. Um, and I was there. I've been there every day, um, you know, like boarding up the... Um, windows and I mean my face is all broke out I have very sensitive skin so from the smoke and everything it's just been a mess it was an electrical fire um, what happened is it's my mother who was on hospice if you don't know so my mother lives there my grandmother who was 91 and my 22 year old son lives there um, you know so that way there's somebody there 24 hours a day just in case something happens um, and it started in my son's room. It was an electrical fire. Um, it was the outlet behind his um, bed. That house was built in 1901, so it is over 100 years old, and it has the same wiring. So I don't know. I guess it overheated. I, I, I don't know. But when it smoked, the mattress he had, um, the bed he had, just went up in flames. Um, he was gone for about a half hour. He had a feeling to come back. When he did, the smoke detectors were going off. He did get my mother out, my grandmother out. They have a dog. They got the dog out. And um, he went upstairs and he said, Mom, it was like a movie. He was like, there's so much smoke. He was like, I had to go back down. He was like, I, there's nothing I could have done. Um, the, the fire department came and they got the fire out, but it's just with electrical fire. I mean, it's just a matter of minutes. Um, my son is a little, is devastated because he thought if he was there, he could have controlled it, but you can't with it. You know, you just have that guilt. Um, like I said, it started in my son's room. So, I mean, he lost everything. Um, that was my childhood home. So I had in that room, I had my father passed away when I was six. So I had all of his pictures, his baby pictures, all of my kids' baby pictures, everything they made in school, everything is gone. And I know, um, you know, I'm so happy that I have my family. I mean, because imagine if it happened in the middle of the night and my son was sleeping in the bed, he would have been gone. I'm thankful that there's oxygen takes tanks downstairs they didn't blow it would have been like a bomb I mean I thank God for them you know I thank God that it's here but it's still very hard it's devastating to lose everything and um, my mother did go everybody's okay my mother did go to the hospital that night um, she was there for an, um, two days because, if you don't know, she is on her final stage of COPD. She does have a lot of other things wrong with her, but that's the main thing. So it's her lungs. And like I said, and with that smoke, um, it really hurt her more than what she was dealing with now. But she's here. Um, they're all living with me temporarily. It's, I got to figure out what's going to happen I mean, they lost everything down to the toothbrush. They have nothing, nothing. And I feel so bad. My grandmother lived there for 40 years and everything's gone. Every memory is gone. So, um, I just want to explain where I've been. Like I said, um, I'm not answering comments. I've got you got your emails. I've read them, but I just... I'm just going to keep it real. I just don't want to right now. I'm not emotionally for it. And I don't want to keep saying, you know, I'm um, just devastated. I don't want to keep complaining. But I thank you guys for all of your prayers. That meant so much to me. I know a lot of people, a lot of you are telling me to put a GoFundMe up. Um, I don't know what to do because since some people say GoFundMe takes out too much percentage to do PayPal. And I don't like asking for help. Um. My husband, he is a teacher, so in New Jersey, um, you're out of work for the whole summer and you're not allowed to collect unemployment because you're not technically laid off. So putting two girls to college and my other, my youngest son putting him 
he started high school this year. So, you know, we're kind of strapped for cash. And um, thank God my husband just started back working. But it's heartbreaking when, you know, you don't even have a toothbrush. I mean, because what wasn't damaged, it was water damaged, you know. Um, I don't know. So I'll figure out if you guys do want to donate. I'm not asking. I'm not, you know, but if you do, I know a lot of people wanted to. I'm not sure if I'll do PayPal or GoFundMe. I have to look into it. I don't even know how to set it up. Anything will be appreciated. Um, like I said, um, I did get a hold of Red Cross. Red Cross only helps with temporary housing for a couple days, like a hotel and stuff. And at least for here, and because my mom's on hospice and the oxygen, my grandmother's 91 on oxygen and there's a dog, um, they can't go to a hotel room, not with hospice. The oxygen is just too much. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, they can stay with me, you know, but there's not a lot of room. So for temporarily, they are staying with me. So, um, I don't know. I'm just a loss for words. I don't know what to do. I'm at the Rite Aid parking lot right now, a pharmacy, because I had to get out. <laughs> because I'm trying to be strong for them. They're the ones that lost a lot. They were there. Um... And, you know, I try to tell them, well, sometimes things like this happen because something positive is supposed to happen, you know, but I don't want them seeing me upset. And I just had to get my head away. It's upsetting that I, my mom is already downhill and to see her going even more downhill, it's upsetting. My grandmother, you know, it's just, it's, I don't know. I'm going to get off of here. Um, I just want to let you guys know where I've been. And I just want to thank you all for your prayers. If I don't answer the comments, if I don't um, answer the uh, emails, I'm looking, uh, I'm reading them. I want to thank everybody. Please keep commenting. It's what's keeping me going. Um, I love you guys. The link will be down below. And um, I'll see you guys I know I have to make some videos in a few days because there are some things I have to put out. But I love you guys. I'll be thinking about you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.